Hey, Fendi viewers, welcome back. So today I have a pretty quick video because the app that we're going over today is pretty quick and intuitive, super easy to use. It's Sony Catalyst Browse, which allows you to stabilize your footage from the Sony a7 IV, which is what we're filming on right now. Now how it does this is it uses the metadata in the stabilizer, the XYZ axis of your camera. So I went out and shot a clip this morning on the one wheel. Uh, of a girl running on the trail. Now, I know what you're thinking. One wheels are already pretty stable, but as you can see by this iPhone footage, riding on trails isn't as stable as you think. Before we dive into Sony Catalyst, I just wanna remind you, maybe consider liking and subscribing because I have a lot of new viewers that aren't subscribing or at least liking. So maybe at least give the video a like. It really, really helps my small channel become bigger so we can do bigger projects and have more fun and do more crazy things. So now we're gonna dive into Sony Catalyst where I will go over the user interface and it is a free app from Sony, so let's dive in. Okay, so I've opened up Catalyst Browse, downloaded it from Sony's website. We have our option here, which means that this video can be stabilized. It contains stabilization metadata. It's got all your information, your bit rate, frame size, all that stuff over here. So this is actually really easy. All we have to do is hit stabilize. It takes a second and we're done. So now on the left, we have our original clip. On the right, we have our stabilized clip. Now, as you can see, it does zoom in a little bit on it, but what we can do is we can go up here under auto and we can adjust how much it zooms in or rather how much it's going to stabilize the video. I usually, I've found that keeping it around like 85, 86% is pretty, pretty effective. And then it will also tell you what your new resolution is based on that cropping. So let's fast forward a bit till she actually starts running. And you can already kind of tell, look at the wobbliness there on the left compared to the right. So let's go ahead and play this clip right here. So as you can see, pretty stable, it does a really, really great job. So now that we have our clip stabilized, we can go to our export options. So the first option is we can tell it where we want it to export. I'm just gonna put it on the desktop just to keep things simple. We also have our color space. I filmed this in S-Log3, so that way I can have the most color grading options later in post. You can add or con rather convert this to Rec. 709 in this app, but I'm just gonna do it in Final Cut Pro anyways. We have our frame size, our frame rate, output color space, so we can export it here, maybe as Rec. 709 if we want to, but I'm just gonna keep it as S-Log3. We have our format, XV, XAVCS, that's how we're gonna keep it exported, frame size, frame rate, and then we're just gonna hit export. Now, it does take a little bit of time to export, I'm just using the M1 iMac. Uh, we're just gonna let it render a little bit and then I'll play it back for you with the full color editing and stabilization and we can see how it looks. And that's it. Super easy, super intuitive. I'll put links in the description about how to download this free software from Sony. One thing I did wanna mention is the footage that I filmed had no stabilization on it whatsoever. No steady, no active, so it was the full 16 millimeter lens, which is what I was filming on, and I put it into here and now it's fully stabilized. So I probably won't really be using active stabilization much anymore, just because this app does a great job of doing that for me. So that's all I have for you guys. Super quick, intuitive, really, really great app. Highly recommend it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.